I am getting ready to drive downtown for my craniosacral therapy class. I'm looking forward to this, so have a great day. I am here at the Renaissance. First day of class on our first lunch break. So this is my bag, carrying my books and my stuff in there. I'm going to show you something else. Look at this, guys. It's in the hotel lobby, just like my bag. Was it meant to be or was it meant to be? I love it. I didn't get to do my stretches this morning, so I need to find a quiet place to do my stretches. Oh yeah, 
This is a nice, quiet place. He's my partner. Oh, it's gonna be fun. I know where we're looking forward to what we're gonna palpate and how our bodies are gonna, you know, speak to us and to you, you know, as a as a receiver and as a giver. Thank you. So it's break time for class. I just took a nice little stroll from the hotel to St. Mary's Basilica. Uh, I always like pray and meditate and <clears throat> let go, release, ask for anything that I need to ask, uh, specifically ask the guidance of the Holy Spirit, especially with my line of work as a massage therapist, touching bodies and their energies. Uh, I don't want anything intertwining um, and having their energies mixed into my energy. So. This is a great opportunity for me to spend some time with the Lord as uh, I'm on my break. Praise God. Omelets are from quail eggs. They're so delicious, absolutely a difference between chicken eggs and quail eggs. So my cousin has quail and they get a lot of eggs. Good morning. It is day three for my CST course and the downtown streets like a ghost town. Well, it's Saturday. <laughs> no, hardly anyone are on the streets. I mean, it's not that early. It's 8.34 a.m. All right. So yesterday we learned about um, fascia, which is the connective tissue that holds our body together. So in a nutshell, it's like ceramic. As I was saying about the fascia, so fascia is that It's that very light film we see on the chicken, uh, saran-like, um, you know, the saran wrap-like look. But anyways, um, fascia holds our body together, meaning if we didn't have it, our organs wouldn't um, stay put. And also with fascia, uh, if trauma happens to it, like for example, my situation, falling, breaking my wrist. Uh, well, if that fascia is really, really disturbed, it'll take a longer time for that situation to heal, which is my perfect example. It was really the fascia um, that got really, really disrupted and I'm still healing. Everything else healed in my wrist time with the fascia. Stay tuned! day four and we're on a break right now and I'm gonna introduce you introduce you to someone okay. Let's see. Oh, this is 
what I need. Yeah. Thank you for helping, Taylor. <laughs> okay, so we're done with our course day four, and um, thank you for being my partner this weekend. Oh, you were amazing. Thank you, you too, you too. You're like holding space. Oh, thank you. This is oh, this is certificate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good timing. We did it, girl. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, we've thank got a, we've got a long way to go but one step at a time. Step at a time. Yeah, thank you so much.